Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. Okay, this reading is for uh, Gemini. So Gemini, let's get into your energy and see what comes up for you. What is Gen Gemini's energy? Oh, Gemini, you're moving forward from deception. So there's deception and you're moving on. Okay, so moving on from deception. I mean, the energy of all 12 signs are on Gemini, starting with Aries. You're dealing with an Aries. Somebody is taking that leap of faith into something long-term and committed. Somebody could be proposing. Um, Aries could be a po uh, proposing to someone. If you're dealing with a uh, Taurus, I feel like somebody has wanted justice for a long time in a situation. If you're dealing with another Gemini, I feel like somebody is, um, they could be juggling a King of Cups, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, um, or making a decision about one. Could be either or. Somebody trying to master their emotions and make a decision, or this could be, um, somebody could be juggling a, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Um, if you're dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, I feel like there's something that's hidden about the relationship. If you are dealing with a, um, a Leo, um, somebody's at a crossroads about apologizing. If you're dealing with a Virgo, I feel like someone feels trapped in their head about a third party. If you're dealing with a Libra, somebody's patient and trying to find some balance in their wish fulfillment for be for betrayal. Okay, what is going on with Libra? Okay. So I feel like somebody's trying to understand something from a different perspective when it comes to betrayal and burden. This is for Libra's energy. Someone, there's betrayal and there's burden and someone's trying to understand it from a different perspective. And I feel like they're trying to be patient for their wish fulfillment. So looking at something from a different perspective, trying to be patient to have their wish fulfillment, but it has to do with betrayal and burden, um, kind of two endings there. Um, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, um, I feel like they're, you're fighting with Scorpio. Um, Gemini, you're fighting with Scorpio. Someone is very, it could be blocking someone someone's very guarded and defensive about blocking somebody or this is somebody standing their ground and this person's very defensive and this person's very <laughs> defensive you got fight on your hands right here you've got you got nine wands and seven wands that's a lot of wands so i feel like yeah i feel like if you're guarded and defensive and that person's combative they're standing their ground and it's a fight it's a fight between for you and scorpio if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, somebody's walking away from the drama. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Capricorn has some kind of regret. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, I feel like um, someone's rushing in and out emperor energy. So you, you have the, the Knight of Wands and you have the Emperor. The Knight of Wands for me is the Emperor in his lowest vibration. So this could be the Emperor in his lowest vibration and himself, right? So this all could be him and, 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 you know, he's, this is his negative shadow self right here. Um, but it also could be rushing in and rushing out emperor energy. Could take it out resonates with you. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, I feel like there's a soulmate. Someone's wanting to rest and recover um, with their soulmate. Trying to heal with their soulmate. Under the bottom of the deck, you do have the empress. So let's get into this. Um, Gemini, you're moving on from deception. Moving on from a deception. Like hitting the gas in that water Uber and you're out the door. So let's get into this for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? What does Gemini need to know? Gemini, somebody's unhappy about somebody juggling, and they're waiting. They're waiting to speak a truth. 
to take a leap of faith into a relationship. There is burden here. And somebody sees it from a different perspective. That was Libra's energy. It has to do with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio for a long time. And there's deception. And it's causing a tower moment. You're moving on from deception. Feel very trapped in your head about a fight or an argument. You're manifesting something. You have a, you have a queen of pentacles. Um, feeling very um, guarded and defensive because you see something. And that could be your energy coming in very solid, stable, dependable. Um, you know, this is uh, Empress in the Minor Arcana as well. Under the bottom of the deck, you have a betrayal here. You have ten swords there. So. so I feel like you saw somebody betray you or something happened here. That could be why you're moving on from the deception. The deception's coming under this King of Cups energy. And I feel like this has been a long time coming and it's causing a tower moment. Finally done with the BS, probably. So juggling and somebody's unhappy. This could be somebody's juggling something at work. Yeah. Yeah, this is somebody juggling something. Somebody's unhappy about somebody juggling somebody at work, a third party, right? And now they're at a crossroads of, or they're waiting because of the burden to speak the truth about something from the past. You, they're understanding something from a different perspective. They're blocking it or standing their ground. They're, they're, they're not taking the time to look at something from a different perspective. You may end up blocking somebody, right? Once you take a minute and think about this, you're going to go, no, done right? This is a relationship in divine timing. This is a soulmate relationship. This is a twin flame relationship. When you have divine timing and the 1111 card, when you have the four of wands, that foundation, that celebration is divine timing. It's also a divine connection, right? And there's some kind of a burden here. My cards are trying to pop out that you really need to see from a different perspective. You need to look at that again, that night, that hanged man coming out again, uh, queen of pentacles again, coming out, got to take the time out to look at something from a different perspective. Jim and I feel like you're the queen of pentacles here. Who is this king of cups? A lot of drama, a lot of strife, jealousy, and competition around that king of cups. And for a long time, you've been brokenhearted. And there has been deception and you're moving on. Again, this was your energy. This is your energy, 100% your energy. Moving on from the deception. You're not, you're, not ta you're not sticking around. It's a tower moment. Passionate communication. It's a tower moment. You may have found out something and you, you know, Jim and I, when you're mad, you're not going to hold your temper. You're not going to hold your, you're not, I, I don't know that I could yeah, picture a Gemini keeping their mouth shut when they're pissed off. I'm just not, they're not going to, they're not going to, they're going to say if it's in their head, it's out their mouth, especially when they're mad, not going to hold their tongue, right? Somebody's trapped in their head about this fight. You're, you're, you've had an argument or a fight, you saw something and this person's drama, you've been brokenhearted for a long time and you're trying to move on for the, from the deception. You're just like, I've had enough. Okay. And, but you're manifesting, you're, you are still manifesting communication with this person. You're out in the cold here and your wish fulfillment, Empress energy is to wait to move on. So I feel like you may be wanting to move on from the deception, but you may wait. You may wait to take that leap of faith to move forward. You may, you may pause, you may pause for a minute. I feel like you, you got one more thing to say is what I feel like in this. And the queen of pentacles is kind of guarded and defensive because of what she saw. And she's making a decision to cut something out and move on and heal for a long time from the emperor. Two of cups. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing here. Look at that. Can't make that up, guys. You know, this person's kind of guarded because of what you've seen. So you've been through a lot with your soulmate. And I said right here, this is a divine relationship right here. I knew it was a twin flame because of that divine timing and the four of wands, right? And you have, um, you have an empress here, right here, trying to pause for a second. You're pausing and you're waiting to take that leap of faith to move forward. Why would you do that? You would pause because this is your person, right? This is your soulmate. This is your divine soulmate, right? You're making a decision to cut something out and, and move forward to heal. Because it's not time for the two of you to come together if you feel like that. Because you have to heal. You have to be whole, right? And, and you've needed to do that for a long time. Because the emperor is your two of cups. You can't make that up. This is your person. That's why you're pausing. Because you don't, you know, you know what you know. Your soul knows who this person is. And no matter how much you've been through with this person, there's still love there. Union, kindred spirits, guardian angels. Thoughts. You're thinking about that. You're thinking about that. They're they're putting this in your mind. This is your their your guardian angels are speaking to you through your thoughts. This is your guardian angels and your thoughts, right? Um, that this is your person. This is your kindred spirit. And I know people say I don't want that sob back. Well, I'm going to tell you. Then if you don't want this person back, then you probably aren't a twin. And I know people say, well, you know, they did me dirty and this and that. Uh, there's a lesson to be learned in all of that because you have to go through the fire to understand the whole process. And once you go through the fire, you're going to look back and go, okay, it makes sense now. Everything will make sense in time, right? But this union is your kindred spirit. This is your person and your, your guardian angels, they're in your head. They're in your head. They're telling you what to what you need to do. And you probably do need to step away and heal. And it might not be the time for the two of you to be together because you need to overcome some obstacles. Um, but just know that if it's meant for you, it's yours, right? Flexibility and transformation and activation. Family, I feel like soul families around you. Activation could be and transformation could be somebody uh, leveling up um, to an emperor. Um, or this could be you leveling up to an empress, um, but flexibility. I feel like this is you being too hard on yourself. So you may be too hard on yourself and you need to be a little bit more flexible about things. Now, whether you take the time out and go heal for a couple years or do what you got to do, um, don't ever stop living your life for somebody. Don't do that. Um, what's meant for you is yours and it'll be there when it's meant to be there. It will be there when it's meant to be there. Now might not be the time. There may be lessons that have to be learned. So let's see what else comes out. It, <laughs> what did I just say? I, what did I just say? The timing just wasn't right for us. That Right? I know I crossed the line with you. Timing wasn't right. I lost myself for a while. Right? So I'm starting to understand our connection. This is a divine soulmate. This is somebody that you have unconditional love for and you have for many lifetimes, right? And and they, they always say there's runner chaser, but there's more to it than that. There's a lot more to it than that. It is a spiritual journey. It is spiritual warfare. And, and there, these twin flame journeys aren't easy by any stretch of the imagination. And if you are a true twin, you know that already. So guys, that's all I have for you. If this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful week.